Greetings, fellow Gorehounds, and welcome back to a Blood Splatter vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. Count Jackula. And yes, he is Count Jackula. And uh, today we're going to be talking about a Shudder original horror film that was released last year called Anything for Jackson. Ah, yes. Uh, which stars one Julian Richings, which I got it right this time. I got the name right this time. Uh, who is famous for having been uh, Death on Supernatural and Three Finger in the Wrong Turn series. And was also in that movie Vicious Fun, another Shudder film that we talked about last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been getting a lot. He's been showing up in a lot more shit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And basically, the premise of this movie is it is a old couple, Julian Richings and uh, his wife in this movie, um, who are trying to reverse exorcism their son who died into existence. Yep. Um, they're kind of doing this. They're kind of trying to do the Rosemary's Baby thing where they're trying to put it inside a pregnant woman's child so that she will give birth to their son. Yep. Um, and that's the plot of the movie. But that doesn't really tell you how weird and hilarious this movie gets. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. It is a comedy of errors. Yeah. But it's done completely deadpan. Yeah. I, I don't... I, I Okay. Because I was looking up places that have talked about this movie. I was trying to see if anyone considered it a horror comedy. Because while it is funny... I don't think it was in, its intention is to be a comedy. It just happens to have a lot of funny moments. Yeah. Um, that yeah. are intentionally funny moments, but it takes the horror really seriously. And yeah, it does. It, it's, it's legitimately scary at times. There's some creepy fucking moments. <laughs> probably, um, probably the best is when one guy smiles when he fucking, oh no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, there's some fucking, and there's some fucking moments that like fucking just, they, 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 they hit you out of nowhere, and you're just like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah. We'll talk about more of them when we get to the spoilers, but, like, this is a legitimately scary movie. It's also really funny at times, and Julian Richings shows a completely different side of him than we've seen in the last few movies we talked about. Yeah, here he's playing, like, a straight man, and he's, he's mm -hmm. very... It's a dramatic role for him. Which yeah. He's actually worried about, you know, what's going to happen with the spirit of his son and, and he's in a moral quandary oh, yeah. because he has to do this fucked up thing in order to get his kid back, you know? Well, okay, the thing that I find that many of the sources of humor in this movie comes from the fact that Julian Richings and uh, his the, whoever plays his wife in this movie, they're playing an old couple that comes across like wholesome grandpa and grandma. Yeah, like they're super wholesome. They're like, oh, here's the cookies. Here's your milk. Here's the yay. Like, sit down. Oh, honey, everything's going to be fine. Like, they just come across really precious and wholesome. But the things they're talking about is casting satanic rituals. And yeah, <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> like, so like they're, they're talking about casting satanic rituals with the same fucking cadence that like, like sweet old grandma would. Like, yeah. it's uh, Sheila McCarthy's one. Sheila McCarthy. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and that juxtaposition is just inherently hilarious. Yeah, like they're, they're, they're that really nice old couple uh, down the street, but they're like doing a human sacrifice and shit. Yeah, <laughs> but somehow are still earnestly a really nice old couple. Yeah, yeah, and they really love each other, which makes them super endearing, despite the the, the lives they're ruining. Yeah, <laughs> um, and uh, uh, it. it and also just seeing them like attend like a satanic meeting is just hilarious. Yes. <laughs> um, so this, I, I, I really like this movie. It's a really gem of a movie. Um, it's also a very simple movie, even though a lot of weird shit you're not expecting happens. Yeah, it doesn't have, yeah, it's, it's really only set in like two places. Mm -hmm. Like there's the house and then there's like the community center where the satanic support group live. Yeah, and happens. the and his doctor's office. Oh, that's, that's right. like yeah. so briefly in the movie, you forget about it. Yeah, you know? yeah, because the, the <sighs> he's Julian a doctor. Richard plays a doctor. Yeah. Um, um, and um, and, and like basically, the crux of the movie is them performing this ritual, which takes a while for them to perform, and all the weird spirits they end up summoning while doing the ritual. Yeah. Um, because until they complete the ritual, basically all these spirits are drawn to where they're opening the doors to hell and shit. Yeah, basically, basically the idea is they're 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 opening this like you know mystical the you know tearing open a hole in the 
uh, in the veil between the human world and the spirit mm -hmm. world. And this will allow the ghost of their dead son to jump into the fetus before a, an, an act, another soul enters it. Yep. However, because it's a hole, that means anything in the area is yeah. also going to try to do this. Yeah, they're all going to try to escape the hole, and any spirits that's in the normal world, our world, is going to be drawn to it. Yeah, and no. the idea is that half the ritual is opening the hole, the rest of the ritual is making sure that the spirit you want gets in. Yeah, and also surviving the spirits that show up, because some of the spirits there's actually- A bunch of our motherfuckers. Yeah, you know, like there's, there's there's characters who get possessed by spirits and go on killing sprees. Like it's, yeah. It's fucking wild. And then there's spirits that just fuck with them. You know, like, like, like spirits that deliberately are only there to scare the shit out of them. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, because what else are you gonna do? You and know? you get some creepy ass fucking imagery. Like, there's this one of this person who's just, like, chipping away at her own teeth. It's just, oh. Ooh, yeah, that was, that was, oh. that was rough. Actually, I think my favorite of the ghosts was actually the cop who keeps, oh, no. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's super fucked up. Um, you also have this weird Satanist character who's kind of like a douchebag. Oh, yeah, the douchebag <laughs> Satanist dude that still lives with his mom. But what I really know, loved like... about that character is, okay, having gotten to know Jack and having gotten to know a lot of Jack's Satanist friends, mm -hmm. we definitely know this guy. Oh, yeah, We've yeah, We've met yeah. this guy. One of these, yeah, 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 <laughs> definitely, definitely, <laughs> you know. The guy who thinks he's way too cool for his Satanism, but is actually a fucking loser. Yeah, yeah, it's a complete tool. <laughs> You know, just happens to have no one thing because that he's, is really important. Because he's such a nerd, he's done so much research. Yeah. But, like, he, that also means he has, like, no life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's it's kind of satisfying. Oh, no! Oops! Needless to say, oops! Oh, no! Oops! Yeah. Um. Yeah, well, it's also, it's also one of those things where, like, I don't know how to put it, but the ending almost doesn't matter. True. true. You know, it's 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 We'll just talk the, about it in the spoiler section. Yeah, but, but the journey of the movie itself is what's so fun. Oh yeah, because my favorite moments of the movie are like like um uh what is it what's what's her name? Um Oh, uh the actress? Yeah, uh, yeah. that'd be Sheila McCarthy. Sheila McCarthy, like making cookies and milk for the girl who they've strapped to their bed, the pregnant woman who they're trying to possess the baby of. Yeah. And just like making her cookies and milk and she's like telling them to fuck off and she's just like, oh, language. Like, language, just, come on. Like, come on, if you you're know? gonna talk like that, then I'm just gonna put the thing over your mouth. mouth. <laughs> you know, just... Yeah. After everything we've oh, done for you. You. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> like it's, it's normal grandma shit. Yeah. But it's in this context, so it's like really fucked up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. You know, it reminds me of movies like Parents. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, like you could tell that part of it was like, we really like the character of the cast of from Rosemary's Baby. Uh, Why don't we put them in another scenario? Oh yeah, we, we get like, yeah. it's just like <laughs> these, these wholesome old people just saying Hail Satan in the most hilarious way. Yeah. Hail, Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Oh well, yeah, it's kind of like a whole movie of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. You know, and the reason why it's called Anything for Jackson is because their son's name is Jackson. So they will do anything for Jackson, including opening a gateway to the other world that summons demons and monsters and fucking ghosts and shit in order to possess a woman's fetus so that when she gives birth, she will give birth to their son. Yeah. They will do anything for Jackson. Even track down, is it the Necronomicon or is it a Necronomicon-like book? I forget if they call it the Necronomicon. I forget what they called it, but it's it's basically a Necronomicon light. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, and there's even points like early on in the story where you see them like realizing they could bring a bird back to life with it. It's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, what's up? She was in Die Hard 2. Die Hard 2? All right. Yeah. A minor character played uh, Samantha Coleman. Cool. Uh, but I don't entirely know. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, Samantha Coleman, but I don't remember who that character is. I think she's like one of the people in the airport. That makes sense. You know, this is this is definitely like 
one of the first movies that has actually like had her in a starring role. Yeah, yeah, where she where she and Julian are definitely the two leads. Oh yeah, they are the lead character. They're the stars of the movie. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, and and oh, God, they're, they're so good. <laughs> their chemistry is amazing. Like yeah. if you start forgetting you're watching actors and you're just like this just feels like a real couple. Yeah, yeah, it does. Like, well, one of the other one of the other things that I think is fucking funny is I'm pretty sure there's like a huge age difference between the two actors. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I didn't yeah. even get that. Yeah, like, no, you don't. You don't. But like, she is from. Let's see. Come on, give me give me that info. Give me that info. <laughs> give me that info. Welcome to Blood Splattered Cinema, where we look up the research while we're. Filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were research while we're filming. Yeah, you know, like this. This is what you come to. To, to be fair for. to us, I I've looked at the imdb of every movie we've ever vlogged like extensively before we start recording and everything slips my mind the moment we're talking about it like yeah. it's, it's, it's yeah it's, i don't yeah. know if that's like an add thing but like it's like the moment i try to talk oh, about no never mind never mind they're both born and like she's only like two years older okay i don't know if it's like an 88 adhd thing or if it's like an anxiety thing but like when it comes time for me to talk about it, that's when I forget. Yeah, I, I, I think I fucked it up because Julian Richings like career didn't really start until recently. Mm-hmm. He's been doing such shit since like the 60s and 70s. Oh yeah, and he, you know, he, you just never saw him, you know. I do love this turn in his career though, between this and Vicious Fun, like, oh, yeah. I hope he keeps popping up in Shutter Oh, definitely, definitely. Well, he's got like his own like little space because yeah. he's not like, it's not like um, uh, Richard Brake or Bill Mosley, mm-hmm. you know? Like, Bill Mosley has, like, a type that he plays. Yeah. That's, like, this crazy, super fucking intense mm-hmm. guy. Um, and he's not like uh, Sid Haig, mm-hmm. who's best described as the grinning monster. Yeah. You know? Like, holy shit. Like, he's a little more, like... A little more understated, creepy dude who somehow seems a little out of his depth. He also just has a really good range he that does. allows him he to does. adapt into the roles in weird ways. So even roles that on paper are his type, he still plays them differently. Yeah. In like yeah. It, to the point where like he kind of blends into them. It's it's really weird. Yeah. And it's really cool too. Like he's just really good at it. Yeah, yeah. I think but it, but it's really obvious that, that that fucking role is death and supernatural. That fucking entrance. Oh man. Holy That to crap. me is the iconic uh uh Julian Richards. Oh yeah. Or Julian the, Richings. Julian Richings <laughs> entrance where yeah. he's like Yo and the guy just fucking dies. It's like this is amazing. <laughs> All right, so um, <laughs> the movie is currently available on Shudder. It is a Shudder original movie, so if you want to watch it, you're going to have to rent it. or Not rent it. You're going to have to subscribe to Shudder and check it out there. And uh, with that said, is there any animals that die in this movie? Uh, I don't remember. I can't remember if there are or aren't. But if there, okay. it is a kind of type of movie where that's likely to happen. Since I can't remember, if you're worried about that, check out Does the Die Dog Die Dog Die dot com. Does the dog die.com. Check that out for yourself um, and it will let you know whether or not an animal dies. And uh, with that said, let us move on to the spoilers. Dude, I don't even know what to spoil on okay. this thing. Okay, okay. There's some stuff we didn't talk about before the pre spoiler section. Yeah. A great example being the ding dong ditch ghost. <laughs> That takes the form of their son, yeah, and just starts popping up and 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 uh, and ringing their doorbell, uh, trick or treat, treat, yeah. and it starts appearing inside their house until eventually it turns into this giant lanky like fucking slender man fucking yeah. thing. That shit was creepy as fuck, <laughs> and also funny. Yeah. <laughs> Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Well, that you whole know? scene reminded me of something that you would see in the movie Trick or Treat. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, that's it, what I was thinking of, too. It had yeah. that same kind of Tales from the Crypty ghoulishness. Yeah, yeah. Like, you you, you have to expect, like, to, 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 to be looking around, and then there's just, like, little Sam somewhere in a corner. Yeah, know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's got that kind of vibe to it. Yeah. Like, that, that's actually a good, you know, because it's like, where is Trick or Treat? Is that a horror movie or a comedy? Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, and anything for Jackson sits in that same exact spot that Trick or Treat does. Makes sense, makes sense. You know, yeah. which is, it's mainly a horror movie, but there's a lot of funny shit in it. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely shot like a horror movie. Definitely. You know? definitely. Well, with one, with one exception, which is when the guy jumps into the fucking wood chipper. That's a complete comedy. I shot. love that scene. 
Oh my god! Oh dude, that was the moment where I officially loved the movie. Yeah. I was liking it, but that happens, and I was just like, well, it's it's amazing. like an even funnier version of that scene from The Omen. Damien, for you! you. Yeah, oh. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 because in that one, you just sort of like, there's a part of you that's like, that was supposed to be funny? Yeah, you yeah. Know? Like, But this one is completely, obviously intended to be 100% hilarious. You just have to think blood is funny. <laughs> yes. And it also just hits you out of nowhere. You're not expecting it. surprises it. you. <laughs> yeah, it completely surprises you. Because even though they build that whole thing up, they're like, oh, there's the guy. Yep. There's the wood chipper. I actually I think it's a snowblower, but like we all one of them things. You know, it's a thing that if you fucking jump into it, you're going to be ground up into a little fucking pulp. You don't think that the guy is just going to leap into it. Yeah, yeah. You think that's going to be the thing that someone's like, quick, put him in the wood chipper. Yes. <laughs> you know? It's so fucking great. It's I, I love I love scenes like okay, okay the last time I laughed that hard on a fucking wood chipper scene was Tucker and Dale. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah that. <laughs> and that movie is a, is one hundred percent a horror comedy. Yeah yeah. <laughs> well, these college just kids just came in and started killing themselves. That's what happened, Tucker. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so should we talk about what happens at the end of this movie? Yeah, sure. Why All not? Right. Why All right. not? So basically what happens at the end of this movie is everyone ends up fucking dead because everyone gets possessed and starts killing each other. And like the devil rips open, uh, 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 I think it's Julian Richings, and he rips him open and kills him. And the girl, the pregnant woman ends up getting away and it ends with her driving off with her car rubbing her belly and and she sees the devil in front of her like as she's driving away so the idea is is that she got away everyone else is dead but the devil is still on their tail and, yeah and so um you kind of get the impression from this that you can either interpret it that the devil's always going to be chasing her or and this is my interpretation the devil is in that baby oh yeah yeah and, yeah, she, yeah, and yeah. she's gonna give birth to the yeah, fucking she's gonna give birth to the antichrist that's <laughs> it that's all she wrote baby you know, so this is very much a Tales from the Crypt style ending um, where uh, uh, they fucked around and found out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. You ended the world. Meh. Eh. Meh. It happens. happens. Anything for Jackson. Anything for Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> Anything. Um, but ultimately, this movie is more about the funny and, and exciting oh, journey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's way more about the journey than Destiny. And all the fucking scares that happen up to that point. Like, it goes ape shit at the end. Like, you get some gory fucking people, like, shooting each other and fucking ripping each other open. It's fucking great. Um, but, like, the real meat of this movie is everything that leads up to it. It's the yeah. ritual, not the conclusion of the ritual that's yeah. the most exciting. Yeah, because by by the time you get to the point where the devil's walking around, you're just sort of like, okay, all right. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, of course. Absolutely. Motherfucker. You know? <laughs> But yeah, I, I, I dug the hell out of this movie and realizing that I forgot how it ended, I'm probably going to rewatch it at some time soon because it's a good movie and I enjoyed it. <laughs> well, I think the biggest problem, that the only problem the movie has, if you can call it a problem, is nothing beats that wood chipper moment. Yes, that wood chipper oh, moment's the best. Crap. You know, but there's some kind of like fucking like the, the woman fucking sawing her teeth off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of great stuff. Trick or treat. Hey. <laughs> there's... You know, it's it's good. It's good stuff. It's we good just stuff. We just recorded three vlogs in a row, and I'm really tired, so we're gonna close this vlog off early. Oh, you can <laughs> find me at Twitter at Counting Jack, and uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Satanic Jackula, and I stream twice a week. Going to be three times soon on Thursday and Sunday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on twitch.tv slash Count Jackula. Count Jackula, yes. Count underscore Jackula. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Yeah. Man, we get a little, I'm getting a little crispy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I realized that, I, that my brain's not firing on all cylinders. I'm tired. I'm starting to lose my voice. We've been recording for like an hour and a half, maybe a little bit more. So it's probably about time to wrap this up. Yeah. Y'all know me. I'm the Horror Guru. You can find me at the Horror Guru on Twitch, 
on Facebook, on Instagram, and Twitter. Just look up The Horror Guru or Blood Splattered Cinema and I'll be there. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you're notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. And if you'd like to help out either of us more directly, be sure to check out our Patreon pages. And remember, if you decide to go the Patreon route, even a dollar a month can go a long way. And if you made it this far into the goddamn vlog, then I want you to put hashtag woodchipper into a comment below and be sure to comment below so that I know that you watched this vlog all the way through. And with that said, my fellow gorehounds, I'm gonna go make some tea and rest my voice and not vlog. <laughs> Cause we've been vlogging for a bit and I'm feeling crispy too. Yeah. So uh, yeah, peace out. I know I keep saying this, but like, remember I was telling you I found that channel that like just just talking shit about so many of the movies we love. Yeah, almost makes me want to come back to the Count Dracula show because I'm just like, get the fuck, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you well, don't know I, what good movie is. I guarantee you, everyone watching this would be happy to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out, everyone. <laughs>